Hi, Ella Gerfinkel here with Donkey Financial, talking to you from our beautiful Portland, Oregon, and here is your new tip of the week. So I almost can't laugh about this, but you have to check this out. It's this little boy who just got done with a full day of skiing, and he falls asleep standing up. Check this out. Then I'm going to come back and tell you about the 10 things that can help you sleep at night. And I actually tried a couple and they do seem to work pretty well. So I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> Bodhi sleeping while standing after skiing. He, he is a sound asleep. He's totally asleep. No, we took him down. Look at that. Oh my god. You guys, he's asleep. Yeah, he's sound asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so was that funny or what okay so check this out um here are my 10 sleep uh, tips for you number one say good night to your worries if you can't get them out of your head say your mind is racing and racing go ahead just write them down and if you have a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow or this week or whatever it is write them all down and when you get up the next morning, you will know what it is that you need to do. Just get the stuff out of your head, close the door to it, and it will help you sleep, believe it or not. Number two, count backwards from 300. I've tried that. It's kind of like counting sheep, same thinking, same methodology behind it. Whatever it, the old myth is, you can always try it. It does seem to work for some of the people. Number three, reduce your caffeine intake. It says you should be caffeine free by 2 p.m. I don't know about you, but I can drink coffee like half an hour before bedtime and still be able to zonk out. Not a lot of people can do that, unfortunately. So try no caffeine after 2 p.m. and see if that helps. Number four, what about taking a hot bath? Does that relax you? If it does, do that and you will be zonking out in no time flat. Number five, stop exercising four hours before bed. It can get your heart rate up and it will be very hard to slow it down and for your body to slow down enough to actually fall asleep. So try not exercising at least four hours before bedtime. Number six, keep the kids and animals out of your bed. Yeah, right. If you have kids or animals, I'm sure you know how not easy that is, but if you can give it a shot, try it. Number seven, have a comfortable bed. This one is common sense, of course. Number eight, sleep in a cool room. Try turning down the temp, uh, either by turning up the AC or opening up the windows, getting a cool breeze coming through. Cool room temps actually help uh, statistically sleep better. Number nine, eat your last meal three and a half hours before bed. So if you go, back, if you go to bed at 10, count backwards by three and a half hours. No more food before bed. Yeah, that one is going to be tough. Number 10, monitor the amount of light in your room. The darker, the better. I know my kids, if I keep the, the blinds and the curtains drawn, can sleep through most of the day. So try that. Your biological clock sees the light and it wakes up. So maybe better curtains or better blinds actually will assist your biological clock in keeping you asleep longer. So make sure to forward this to your friends, family, and coworkers. Um, seriously, isn't that hilarious? The kid just falls asleep standing up. Can't stop thinking about that now. Think you had a busy day? Look forward to seeing you right here next week with your tip of the week. Have a fantastic day.